I want to hear your process for when this partner approached you. Did you try to talk yourself out of working with this person? Oh no! I want this to hear one guy. Well, there's several, but the one guy I love. Uh, uh, I don't know if Richard would want me to give his last name. I'll just That's okay. Richard. okay. But Richard, I met at um, uh, a Richard Finger. Yeah, I'll tell you who he is. Yeah, he's well, a great guy. He's a Texan, and and uh, he he met me at, at what I was speaking at Story Expo. Uh, in LA a couple of years ago, um, and uh, and and I was giving a, a lecture on action heroes, and after he says, you know, I'd kind of like you to take a look at this uh, story. He doesn't really talk that way. But I'm going to say, <laughs> got to embellish it for uh, yeah. the end. <laughs> and uh, and I love Jack John. I mean, well, I'd never heard of Jack Johnson, and not only is Jack Johnson a cool, uh, 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 the first African American heavyweight champion, he's, he's a real guy. He's a superhero. I mean, you can't believe what this guy did. He, went, he tried to race at the Indy 500. He had his own sports car. I mean, they wouldn't let him because he was black. But this guy lived in 1900, uh, and he just acted like the Ku Klux Klan never existed. He walked, went where he wanted. He did what he wanted. He loved who he wanted. And he was, by the way, Muhammad Ali says he was a better boxer than he was. Muhammad Ali says that, and the one guy who saw them both box, because there's a guy who founded Green Magazine, he's really old, when Muhammad came, but he saw Jack Johnson box them, he saw Muhammad he said Jack Johnson was better. And by the way, when this guy was fighting in America, the white audiences were throwing chairs at him while he was boxing. I mean, he had to dodge bottles in the ring, and he still became heavyweight champion. They passed them, they, they prosecuted him for the Man Act because he, he, he liked to uh, uh, marry white girls, which at that time you did not do. Mm -hmm. And so his, and then he went to Leavenworth Prison because they were so angry at him. For and what? I, I, the ma violations of what's called the Mann Act, which was, it's called the White Slavery Act. It was, if you transported a woman over state lines, it was just BS. It was designed to prosecute whoever the federal government wanted to prosecute. So they put him in Leavenworth, and then the warden was so impressed by him that he ended up giving, letting him have exhibition matches inside uh -oh. Leavenworth, That's and great. then he got out. And he died in a car crash oh. uh, in 47. Um, but again, just like Leonidas in 300, this guy, uh, he, the interesting part of his story was the villains got bigger and bigger, right? That were that were, on, that were uh, prosecuting him. The villains got bigger and bigger. First, it was just the local uh, folks, then it became the state cops in Chicago, then it became the federal uh, uh, cops, all prosecuting Jack Johnson for who he was. So this fit my superhero formula great, and, and Richard kept uh, saying, well, let's just do one more. He started writing it, and then I said, well, and he was hiring me to help him, which I do, I do consults, um, and, and you can hire me, and then I'll, I'll critique your work. And he finally said, you know, Peter, I'm paying you so get damn much money to, to, to consult with me. You just take half the doggone thing and let's do it together, and that'll save me money. <laughs> and so that's what we did. And uh, Richard and I just, we work so well together. Um, we're working on another project, Nero, uh, which is um, a, a famous Roman emperor uh, who is a, a mass murderer and kind of an anti-hero. I have a, again, I, I, I found out and figured out how anti-heroes work. Uh, have been teaching that for some time. And that tool works great too, by the way. So the tools that I'm using are the tools that I constructed to teach with. And so far, they all work. There's a couple of tools I have that are crappy that haven't turned out to work that well in, in, when I really put them into practice. We can talk about those too, but I'd rather talk about the ones that do work. <laughs> just real quickly, I would love to hear why, just, just real quickly, why was he such a threat to people? And then we'll move on. Jack Johnson? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, he was this big, beautiful black man who was completely unscared, right? He was, and he was, had a had kind of a smirk. He was kind of James Bond. He had a little arrogance, right? He was just a guy who didn't give a shit about your uh, anger at him. He didn't care whether or not you were uh, uh, upset with him for not following the rules. He was a rebel um, at a time when if you were a black man and you were even seen with a white woman, you could get lynched, literally get lynched. And he was also a great musician. He had a nightclub act. This guy did everything. He was a pop star, 
right? He played a viol and there's film of him doing that. So this guy could do anything. He was like Jay-Z combined with uh, uh, Muhammad Ali combined with 007, right? <laughs> and, and, and everybody, all, all the white authority figures hated him and he just didn't care. He did exactly what he wanted to do. So he's an amazing character and uh, I know we're going to get somebody amazing to play him.